Uh, it's been a, a while since I've done one of these, but I'm going to try and uh, repurpose this uh, LCD panel. It's very shiny, you probably see myself. I'm going to try and repurpose this and turn it into an HDMI monitor with one of the LCD driver cards. Not sure it's got to be like, it was um, pretty horrific to take apart. This is a, an E-Machines E525, which is absolutely filthy. Right, it's, um, it was a Celeron based machine, um, 30 gig hard drive, so not very big at all. But just before I start, how big is this screen? So uh, it's about 16 um, diagonal to diagonal, so uh, 15, 16 inch. But uh, let's see what it's like inside. Very shiny screen now. I'm not sure whether that's good or not. All right, so I've had this uh, outer shell off, but I want to keep this outer shell because it's quite nice. Um, I did just have this off before, so it should come off quite easily. Although I could do with that a spudger. Which I've put somewhere. Oh well. Alright, so I'll keep that. Alright, so not actually looked at it. I want to take these um aerial wires out anyway before I reuse this. Alright, that comes off quite easily. Um what's it attached to? It's just attached with that, so let's at the moment let's just undo the inverter. If I can get that off, yeah, and then I hope that clears it from the back of the screen. It's very bright. Okay. So, it was filthy this was, it looks like it's had coffee poured over it, and whether it works or not I don't know, I, I can't remember where I got this, so I, I might have bought it as an e-machine one on eBay, but I can't recall. Alright, so what have we got here? Who's it made by? AU Optronics, Ugh. that doesn't sound promising. Lots of things I'm not allowed to touch on this one. All right, but uh, it's a B156XW01. So I'll uh, have to take a photo of that, see what that looks like. And the other thing that I've had problems with recently are these cables. So let's, uh, and now let's have a look at the cable. So as usually, as usual, it's just taped in. Is this a standard connector? Gently slit that. Hopefully. Okay. So is that a weird connector? Um, not fantastic, but uh, hopefully I've got one of those. So let's compare that. Let's put this out of the way. Well, I've got a new uh, style of controller card here, bought from Banggood, about £14, normal price, and I think this looks pretty similar. So this has got some things that are missing, but that looks very promising. Right, it was the right cable that came with this new uh, V53 board, this one says. Uh, so let's try turning it on. Okay, no dull red light. Oh. Okay, yeah, so there's something there, just a blue line. Whether that is a broken, whether that's broken, doesn't look like the panel's broken. So hopefully that's just, uh, this needs to program into a different resolution, different type of monitor. So I'll look up the uh, serial number and see what type of um, display this is. So here is the info of the panel look site for this B156XW01 screen. 
and interestingly it's a weird resolution WXGA it's 1366 by 768 so um, I went back onto the Banggood site and looked for the firmware download because this is a this is a new board that I've not used before so I wasn't going to use the existing um, the existing firmware that I've got and uh, downloaded it there's the link it was a tar so I downloaded that and uh, then did a search as I've done previously and there were two sets of firmware on there that were um, for 1366 by 768 so I extracted both of those one was a general one and then there was another one that was for an LA panel so I flashed the firmware and it went in fine the screen opened up it was there but it was in Chinese I didn't film that bit but after that when I went and looked back onto the Banggood site I noticed this this little jumper which was the voltage of the screen now back on a panel look it says that this screen voltage just at the bottom there is 3.3 volts and it looked like this was set in the middle which I assumed was about 5 volts so um unplugged everything and changed it and put it in and uh, I wasn't sure whether the flash had worked um, the instructions on Banggood said that you had to call it a specific name of firmware um, but that was different from what was in the firmware file for this V53 board so anyway I did it um, and then I thought oh I wonder whether it's because I'm driving it at, at 3 volts um, at 5 volts and not 3 volts I was getting some I was getting some display but it was a bit corrupted so what did I do I got this and I changed it to 3 volts but I did it while it was turned on and I did it with a metal pair of pliers stupid boy um, then I just got a grey screen couldn't work it out unplugged it plugged it back in grey screen nothing else just a grey screen um, and then I was fiddling about with this and I realized this was absolutely red hot so um, the board wasn't lighting up the um, LED anymore so I reckon I'd shorted out and I suppose if you think about that that's a 3.3 volt rail a 5 volt rail and a 12 volt rail and I just connected one of them directly to ground so it's blown something up and it's it's uh, cooked that chip and that chip although I've put some writing on it just so that I say it's so that it's uh, uh, it so I know it's dead but all of the I should have been able to tell because all of the uh, the printing on it had gone and that's normally if a chip's getting too hot so this panel I'll have to come back to at a later date as I can't test it now because I've blown up my board so I've ordered another board I ordered it just uh, with that and with the zapper which was the the um, cheapest combination so I didn't get the external stuff because I've got that already I'm going to uh, complete this video now but uh, it looks like it's uh, promising and it might work the screen's not damaged I don't think um, apart from the fact unless I blew it by putting five volts through and not three volts so uh, that's something that I need to check in the future but uh, I will do an update to this video if I find that uh, the new board when the new board comes that it works Thank you.